Thank you, Mr. Chairman. How rich was that? Uh, Mr. Wolf, how many apprehensions occurred in the Trump years combined? I mean, just round numbers. All four years? Yeah. I, I, I don't have a number for you. Um, the chief, Chief May. Chief. I don't have that number off the top of my head, uh, to be honest, but it was less than a million a year, and some years less than 500,000. Okay. Um, how many since Biden has taken over? You have to define whether there are arrests or encounters. About not, the apprehensions would technically include encounters. There were over 6 million. Okay. Known gotaways. Known uh, gotaways over 1.5 million, mm -hmm. plus or minus. That's only the known. Okay. Uh, known or suspected terrorist? Uh, there's been about 200. I think there's 98 this year. And okay. again, those are just the ones that are known. Two, 200 since January 2021. And Mr. Wolf, you, you guys reported known or suspected terrorists. Actually, it took us six months to get Mayorkas and the president to actually report known or suspected terrorists. What's the combined uh, approximate total in the Trump years of known or suspected terrorists? I believe it was 11. 11. How rich is that discussion that we just heard about looking in a glass house? You know what the political theater here is? Over 5 million apprehensions at our southern border, over 200 known or suspected terrorists, over a million and a half known gotaways. I have constituents who are currently sitting in this committee hearing right now that live in West Texas. And these folks are dealing with the unfunded mandate that my colleagues on the other side of the aisle are calling political theater? You're saying that 53 people that died in a tractor trailer south of San Antonio Last summer is political theater? Give me a break. This is insane that we continue to look at this administration anything less than a complete abysmal failure. Mr. Wolf, it looks like you might have a reply or something that, that was from the previous question. Uh, well, I would just say that the previous question from the congressman was probably false on all fronts. I think it's a naive view of, of the situation that occurred in 2018. Children are separated from adults who may or may not be their parents. Perhaps they're their parents that are abusing them. This happens every day along the border. You need to visit the border. You need to talk to Border Patrol to actually understand the border. Uh, this happens every day in the Biden administration. This happens in the Trump administration, Obama, and it goes on and on and on. I'm sure the chief can tell you more about that. But this idea that it only started in three weeks in 2018, it's just, it's a false narrative. Well, isn't it true that the Obama administration actually started family separation uh, in, in all practicality, Mr. Scott, you served for four different presidents, uh, both sides of the aisle. Yeah, correct. I'm really offended by the, not, not by you, but the, but the statement family separation. DHS, United States Border Patrol, under various different administrations, prosecute people for committing crimes. And we prosecute more people for committing crimes of the, pop, the percentage of the total population as the numbers go down. Over years, we found out consequences slow down the flow of illegal immigration. A consequence is a prosecution. That's what we were doing in the field that happened bef way before the Trump administration. Some of you may be familiar with Operation Streamline. The Border Patrol reported on it all the time, and that was misdemeanor prosecution of illegal entry, and it has a direct result in improved border security. The track record's there, multiple administrations. Mr. Scott, when did you serve uh, the Biden administration? What uh, months or years? Uh, for the Biden administration, from the day of inauguration until August 14th, 2021. Okay, so for approximately eight months. Plus or minus. Um, was Secretary Mayorkas briefed on policy failures? Were there recommendations that were made to Secretary Mayorkas and President Biden from Border Patrol, from ICE, from Customs, from any of our DHS uh, leaders? I personally participated in numerous conference calls. The Secretary insulated himself a lot, but he had representatives on those calls and occasionally he was in those calls himself. And yes, it was very clear, but the administration made it very clear Deterrence was no longer our mission, and we weren't even allowed to talk about it. The minute you talked about trying to slow down the flow or putting any kind of a deterrent mechanism in place, we were immediately stymied. So this is a willful and complicit decision to turn away from the policies from 2017 to 2020 and go a different direction, which have resulted in the numbers that I previously said. And they've been advised, and, and there have been recommendations made by yourself and others that they have completely ignored. 
Absolutely, and they're just carrying out their game plan that they said in the campaign. This is complete dereliction of duty. I thank you, gentlemen, for your service to this country, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the dereliction that we see from Secretary Mayorkas is unprecedented, and it has resulted in so many assaults, deaths, uh, and, and drugs and chaos in this country. Thank you for holding this hearing. I yield back.